Welcome back, viewers, to more Three Houses. We're at episode 21, and we're going to start with some more supports once again at the very start. Okay, now that you know the technique, go ahead and solve this problem. Oh, that's right, they're study buddies. Yeah, I've got it, finally. <laughs> See? Isn't it fun to learn? Should be a teacher, Annette. <laughs> a preschool no, teacher. This, you, know, you really seem to have all the answers. I wish I could study and just soak up knowledge like you. How did you get so good at this? Like she does it all the well, time. Studying was something of a necessity for me. What do you mean? My father was one of the king's knights. Gilbert, yeah, day, I know I'm the cat. He never returned home. He just left without ever saying a word to me or my mother. I'm so sorry to hear that. But losing a father so suddenly, I completely understand. Oh yeah, Ash's parents After just died. Night, I thought a lot about where he might have gone. My father was a devout believer, so I was certain he must have come here, to Garag Mach. You were right. Really? That's why I was determined to gain acceptance into the academy. I needed to come here so I could search for my father. The problem was that I needed money to get in. Lots of it. And I didn't have any at all. And so that's where the studying came in. So I entered the school of sorcery and Ferdy at first, hoping I could somehow find a path here. Mm -hmm. I studied tirelessly until I finally earned myself a recommendation. Oh wow! And good on you. So for you, studying has been like a way to meet your destiny. Pretty much. Destiny, huh? Well, yes, but it's a bit embarrassing when you put it like that. Now I have other reasons for wanting to keep trying hard. I want to protect all of my friends and allies here. I'm studying hard so I can be as useful as possible to everyone I hold dear. Oh, that's you so sweet. So hard. I really respect that. I'm going to follow your example. Oh, Ash. These two are so pure-hearted. They're so pure. All right, you two want to nerd out about knights again? It's about the battle of Fodlin's throat. Oh, throat. yes. I know it like the hilt of my sword. With so many valiant knights appearing in this story, I couldn't help but wonder which was your favorite. I really like this one. The one in the middle. The knight who stands in defense of the duke. Such a wonderful knight. One of my favorites as well. That makes sense. He's so noble and virtuous. In fact, he kind of reminds me of you. I... <clears throat> Thank you. You remind me of him as well. You are honest, as is he. Uh, no, I, I'm nowhere near <laughs> as great. Oh my gosh. Maybe, someday, maybe if we work hard together, we can both become knights as glorious as the one in this story. These two are both like together, yes. love giving out compliments but can't take them. Be something. If only we could. Huh? Oh, she's reminded of her marriage again. Ash, the legends are exactly that. Legends. They're not indicative of real life. The cards we are dealt are what they are. We can work with what we have, but we can't change what's in our hand. It's a good quote. What's that supposed to mean? I long to serve his highness as a knight. The sort of knight that legends are written about. But I was born bearing a crest, and with that comes responsibility. Whether I like it or not, I am the last hope of House Galatea. I am the only one who can carry on the family bloodline and restore our lost fortune. To do that means setting aside my own dreams and ambitions. You still have the right to pursue your dreams. Ash? I must ask something of you. Yes, of course. Ingrid is a really strong person to be able to do that. Your dream is aligned with your own. Oh. For both of us, promise to see yours through. Oh. That doesn't seem fair. I'll never be able to see my dream through. Doing so would mean terrible misfortune for others. So, I am bound by honor not to follow through on my own dream. But... I can help you achieve yours. Come on, this isn't like you at all. Please, don't smile when your eyes are so sad. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I love these conversations. I swear, the whole cathedral glows with heavenly light when you're around. Hello, Sylvain. What a treat to see you here. <laughs> I thought you preferred places with more ladies around. Oh my gosh. Oh, because you're here. I, I hate this. About other girls. What? <laughs> oh, come now. I'm sure you use that line all the time. I bet. Actually, 
I've only said it to girls who thought I was lying about being faith. You know what? <laughs> There's no reason to get into all that. The truth is, I would really like to spend some time with you. What do you say to that? Well, if you were really interested in me, I would want you to get to know me better. I agree. I've been such an idiot in the past, always angling for the seduction. I've forgotten how to just talk to someone. You act like you're full of regret, but I know you don't really mean it. Dang. Still, Mercedes just seeing through all his lies. I told you such a boring story the last time we spoke. I thought it was quite interesting. I was worried you might think I was a dull person. Dull? No. I was worried that I'd made you remember unhappy times. It's horrible what you had to go through. It's not like anyone chooses to be born with a crest. Right. We can't choose our bloodline. So it seems like all the commoners want crests and all the crest users don't want it. What's your experience been like? Are you asking how being born with a crest affected me? Yes. I know there was that business with your brother Nikron, but I'm sure you don't want to talk about all that. Oh yeah, he's still it's thinking about a it too. happy story. Please don't feel the need to hold back on my account. I'm here if you need someone to share in your pain. Oh, you that's sweet. More about me, even if I didn't have a crest or come from a noble family. This has nothing to do with your crest or family. I'm just asking as your friend. How should I put this? When I look at you, I don't see a crest. I want to see the real you. You... you do? Here's the short version. I hate crests. Even though having one is supposed to be such a great blessing, mine has ruined everything. Miklon was heir to our house. Then I was born, and I became the heir because I had a crest. That made my older brother jealous enough to want to kill me. And every woman in Fodlin wants to have my little crest baby. So they can join the nobility. Yeah, there you go. That's what it's like to have a crest. He does I'm seem so super sorry. stressed out about it. I didn't mean to dredge up such awful things. No, I... I should keep my temper better. I don't want you to see me act that way. Don't say that. I'm glad we were able to talk. I feel like I'm finally seeing the real you. Oh, so vain. Will you save me from the curse of having a crest? <laughs> no, shut up. Of course. I think I love you. And I mean that with all my heart. I love you, Mercedes. Let's get married and have crest babies. What the heck? Sure, sure. What? 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 <laughs> what? I know they were joking around, but that was just really odd. But yeah, see, Sylvain's frustration. Oh my goodness. I have a little favor to ask of you. Of course. You always say little so favor. Assistance. Well, I was hoping you could tell me about my father. Gilbert the cat. A man at home than he was at work. Ah, so you wish to hear about the Gustav that I knew. As you know, he Wait, was Gustav, the, rip. the royal family since my grandfather's reign. To me, he was a teacher of martial arts and tactics. He was someone I depended on since I was a small child. Wait, then who's Gilbert? Is that a grandfather but or something? He was also a very Uncle stern or what? and strict instructor. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. He was much the same at home. He'd chide us if we made mistakes, whether it was with cooking or even how we spoke. Yeah, I mean, it makes so, sense because he blew up the kitchen. Funny. I suppose in front of his family, he felt the need to demonstrate proper etiquette. Wait, are you saying that's not how he was around you? Even all these years later, there's something I recall with perfect clarity. It happened in the autumn of my 11th year. Before the break of dawn, he woke me suddenly, said he'd heard a disturbance and had me grab my bow. Then oh, he set hmm. me and a fellow pupil loose on a dark mountain. Our only directive was to go catch a deer. Uh. As you well know, <laughs> autumn in the capital is very cold. Now... Imagine being up on the mountain at night with no idea what might jump out from oh the shadows. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> that, in a nutshell, is the Gustav I knew. Be arrested for that kind of treatment, throwing a child out on the mountains to hunt deers? completely different with me. I recall one other defining detail. He used to speak of you at every possible opportunity. Really? What would he say about me? Are you sure you want to know? There's one story he used to tell from when you were very small. No, stop. It's completely <laughs> too embarrassing to bear. Is it? Uh, perhaps. <laughs> Look, I'll promise to forget the stories he told me about you if you return the favor. Deal? 
Yes, that seems the only thing to do. <laughs> it's a promise. I'm sure you can't just force forget, but I guess they're either just don't use that to characterize them, I guess. Ah, uh, yes. Sylvain, good timing. There's something I want to say to you. I'm smarter than you now. Did I do something wrong? Did you spot me sneaking back in this morning? Or is it about that girl who got mad I kissed her sister goodnight? I can't what? explain either way. Calm down, no, Sylvie. Calm down. I'm not after you about those things. Surely other people have that covered. Ingrid. What I really want to talk about is your behavior during our training sessions. Oh? When we're sparring, you're always passing on great opportunities to get the edge on me. It's almost as though you're going out of your way to make me think you're incapable. Nah, I just like giving other people the spotlight. Uh-huh. It's not that you took something I said to heart. About how you don't have to work hard to be good at stuff and how that isn't fair. I did take those things to heart. We're friends, right? I'd be sad if you started to hate me. There's just one thing I want you to remember. Guys like me, who hate hard work and sort of get by on our wits, it all falls apart eventually. I'm smart enough to know that. So, I respect people like you. I win. I wonder... I if that's the oh, truth. Is that sincerity? It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> so unlike you. Uh, I don't know. Deep down, he's a pretty sincere guy. When you say nice things like that, I can't take joy in beating you. I want oh, to yeah, and that's looking for some best. competition. That's why it bothers me so much when you don't try your hardest against me. Let me put this a different way. I've always been treated like I'm special, and I'm not. At least, I don't think I am. I'm just tired of people thinking they know what I can and can't do. When everybody expects something of you, or envies you, it's kind of suffocating. I'd rather people think I'm dumb. Well, I mean, I can still be pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I have a hard time understanding where you're coming from. Just know that I want you to keep being great at everything without trying. If you <laughs> stop being that way, I won't have any competition. Huh. Competition, huh? I like the sound of that. Where the heck were you when I was growing up? If I had someone at a like school you back then, for magic. I think I may have turned out different. And better, I mean. Anyway, I'd love to chat more with you. Would you like to grab some tea with me or Nope, I gotta study. Sure thing. Oh, okay. The very next wow. moment I'm free. For now, I need to get to my magic training. Okay, I was still right. <laughs> oh, some other time then. I look forward to it, Annette. These conversations are so good. They actually have characterization in them. You know what time it is now, though. It's mission time. The Remire Calamity, a pattern of strange occurrences in Remire Village, has erupted into something far more serious. Let's see what's actually wrong with these villagers. The Remire Calamity. You've got to go. go now. Gerald, he was running. I've never seen him run before. Okay, let's go. The situation go. in Remire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. Okay, well, let's go. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. What? Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. What the heck's going on? Okay, Gerald, I see why you were running now. What the heck? Look at their veins. Uh oh, Dimitri. You okay there? I... Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Don't waste your time on me. Saving the villagers is far more important. We haven't a moment to lose. Oh my gosh, what's what going on we though? Do amid such confusion? We can't kill villagers. We'll have to take up arms against the villagers who are rampaging. If we strike carefully, it should be possible to spare their lives. I see. Isn't there a more peaceful way to deal with this? I wish, but there's chaos no going on. It takes, we'll need to check and rescue them all, one at a time. Those who have gone mad may be victims themselves. Is it possible to save them? Let's do our best. Well, saving the poor people who aren't crazy is definitely our top priority. Let's get on with it. Slow down, Annette. It won't do anyone any good if we panic and get injured ourselves. Isn't that... Isn't that what? Someone we know? Your Highness, suspicious figures spotted in the village. They seem to be 
watching the chaos. Isn't that kind of what we're doing? The ones responsible for this madness. If so, it's clear what must be good eye to do. That if they are responsible, we got to take them out. Don't let a single one of them escape. Sever their limbs and crush their wicked skulls. Oh my gosh, Dimitri. I guess we're getting a taste of what's coming in five years. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at all these fire. Rampaging villager and villager. So we need to make sure. How are the rampaging villagers so strong? Oh my gosh. Hold up. Jeez. Gerald and the knights. Okay, those are the green units. Probably got to make sure they're okay too. Okay, so where are the people responsible? Mysterious soldier back here. Wait, Tomas? Oh, <gasps> no. He is evil. They were saying he was gone for the longest time. Oh my gosh, was it actually Tomas's responsibility for this? There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? Of course. I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Okay. I think we'll have Linhard, um... Oh my gosh, there's six of them, okay. How do we save them, though? Do we just gotta, like, talk to them? Okay. So, Gerald... I'm gonna send Linhard with Gerald. There's a lot of enemies right out of the bat, though. So, okay, I don't think... Yeah, the church soldiers, I don't think... There was no reward saying that if these guys die, there's gonna be any trouble. So, I think we just gotta keep Gerald safe. Level 17, 18 defense. He'll be fine. Um, but let's make sure we go in right away as well. Gosh. All this fire. My goodness. Oh, I forgot to replace a training sword for Sylvain. Kill. Kill. Oh my gosh. That is a little scary. The whole, like, veins. What is going on? So Tomas was actually evil? That's crazy. And everyone was saying, like, where's Tomas? Where's Tomas? So this is where he was. He was out here hiding and preparing for some rampage or whatever. All right, let's see. Let's see. I, I didn't make Dimitri a lord. I don't know if I... Yeah, we did do this on screen. Ooh. He just, like, walked up and just kind of tapped him. Looking good, Dimitri. It's pretty epic with that, uh... That little uniform on. All right, Steel Bow Ash, you want to crit? That's all good. You don't need a crit. All right, so everyone is level 18. So, oh, I also made Felix a uh, dark mage because he mastered his class and the other, um, he mastered being a mercenary. So I just decided, hey, let's just make him a dark mage so that he can get some uh, magic do? training and hopefully like a skill from something. Okay, who do I want to send up here? Probably the prof because everyone else is more of a healer. Get in there, prof. Take him out. Okay. Linhard, you're going to be focusing on uh, keeping Gerald safe. Flane, uh, you can rally Luck, which isn't really needed, but if there's someone with a critting weapon, then yes, that'll be very helpful. Okay. I did also swap out some skills so that we're all a little bit better bit equipped. Oh gosh. These guys are taking out these villagers. We got to get over there safely. So actually, what we should be doing... Oh, I should, maybe I should have brought Mercedes with the Physic. We can't save all the villagers, can we? I think it's going to be impossible to save them all. Right? Yeah, how are we even supposed to get to the ones that far up? Seems a little unfair, don't you think? Okay, anyway. Jeez. This is such a cool map. Oh, we can definitely save that one with because of the wall. Oh yeah, Gerald's going to have no trouble taking any of these guys out. I didn't see any mages except for at the very top with Tomas. So this map is actually smaller than I thought it was. But we're going to have to be very risky. Ally phase. Okay, Gerald's going in. Not a big not a big fan of him taking out all our KOs, but we do have to save the villagers, I guess. Oh, wow, church soldiers putting in the work. Oh, the villagers can move too. Very good. And they can run away. That's awesome. Okay. Jeez. Tomas? The one giving orders to the others. 
Isn't that Tomas, the librarian? Oh yeah, I already noticed him, but like, what? How do we save this guy? Oh, I know, we just gotta keep them safe and out of danger while they run away. Okay. I see. Okay, I, I have an idea of what to do here. Felix, you can take this guy out, right? With some thunder magic. There we good. And then we'll send in Prof to go into the front lines and help take out these people as soon as possible. Oh gosh, Prof, you gotta return your debt to Remire Village, whatever that was. Okay, steel bow, curve shot, there we go. We're taking these guys out as best we can. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen a map like this in a long time and I love it. Okay. Um, we need to start making sure that we get these chests as well. There's only two, it looks like. One over here, and then one up here, correct? It looks like the only two chests. Yeah. I think we should be good. So I think what we're going to do is probably have Sylvain come here, grab a, grab a chest key from the convoy, and we'll send him over to get that. Yeah, we'll take the chest key. Awesome. Ingrid, make your way up here help save these villagers. Curve shot? Uh, it's worth getting some damage out on you. Ooh, minor crest! There we go, Ingrid. Very nice. She's, she wants to save the villagers right now. Okay. Cool. If the villager just gets behind us, he'll survive this next turn. Let's make sure we split up our units. Um, Linhard, you gotta stay safe with Gerald, but you also gotta stay safe with us. Oh my goodness, there's so much going on. Annette can be a regular default healer, so she should come up here as well. Oh goodness, we're all like trying to get through. Okay, to do, you're gonna go straight into the fire, okay, buddy? You need to take out as many units as possible. Okay, and then you can heal up him. Might as well have as many green units as possible. Doesn't matter if the green units die. Okay. Um, rampaging villagers. No one's doing much damage to Prof. He's safe. Okay, he's looking weak. I really want to try and save them all. I don't know if that's a possibility, but if it's if it's possible, I want to try and do it. Okay. Um, I don't think that guy will survive. Oh! Maybe. If he's sitting in the forest, maybe. Oh, we should have Ingrid come and take you out. Okay. Oh, boy. Alright. We'll save all but one. That, that one was just, like, almost unstoppable to save. He had two going after him. <sighs> okay. Good thing that they're not actually counter- or, like, attacking. <sighs> Alright. Prof, sit in the fire. Save the villagers, Prof. <laughs> there we go. That Crest of Flames is gonna be useful. Alright. Linhard, physic up that. Can you physic him up? You can't reach. You go down here, can you? You can. Very good. Very good, Linhard. Okay. Now what? Um, probably have Annette come up here. Take you out with a Nosferatu. Wow. Okay, the villagers have terrible res. Wait, what is their res? Three, yeah, they have garbage res, that's why. All right, so that means Felix, you need to come up here and start taking these guys out, because they have garbage res. Good job, Felix. Thank you. Oh, okay, you just have to defeat the unit that's next to them, gotcha. All right, so this is also a villager, so Ingrid, you can come up here, and probably equip Iron Lance. No, don't equip the bow, and Dimitri, go up and help her. Okay, um, who we got here? Alright, that's right, we're sending a do up here. Take you guys out. Training bow, that's fine. Then we'll have Flane come next and use some magic to take you out. Training gauntlets, whatever. There we go. That church soldier's standing right where I want to be, but it's fine. This will probably move next turn. Actually, Gerald will probably move up there as well. Okay, you come over here. And then Ash. You can take this guy out. Right? Oh, no, those are church soldiers. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's wait here. 
And then we can also help out the proc if he needs it. I don't think he will, though. Yeah, he's the prof. He's fine. Okay, Ingrid. Doing good. Dodge it. Nice, that villager's doing good. Cool. Um, we got a prof will go after this one, probably. We can take him out, hopefully in one turn. Maybe I should have not used a non-training bow on... Uh, to do. Okay, the Mysterious Soldiers are coming out, and they're attacking a green unit, so we're all good. Tomas, what are you doing? What is he doing? He's got to be the leader of them, right? He's not just some captured guy. He's not just captured, correct? Oh, gosh. All right, well, rip our green unit. Rip this green unit, too. Oh, green... Oh! That Mysterious Soldier's like, green units. What are green units? Get out of here. Okay, Prof, you need to work your way up here right now. Iron Bow this guy to death. Good. Probably could have given that to Ash, but you know what? It's fine. Prof needed it too, so that he can recruit more students. Because honestly, we do need more students at this point. Um, I can recruit... Oh, I can uh, get the wall out of the way. That'll be helpful. Linhardt, I really want you to kill this guy, but for now, just physics from the farthest range away that you can. Probably right here. There you go. Helpful. Helpful. <laughs> Alright, villager. Doing fine. Um, Annette. She'll be fine. She's only doing tons of damage. But Annette also, I gave her um a the I gave her a new skill and she has um a magic staff which increases her magic attack by three, which is awesome. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. I, that'd be really cool if you could have critted, but it's fine. Training axe. Who cares? Um, punch him to death to do. Don't even need to punch him multiple times. To do is just out here right now. Okay. Sylvain, you're coming for the chest. And Ingrid. Dimitri can probably go here, and then we'll get Ingrid far, far up away. Good job, Dimitri. His Lord outfit looks so cool. Looks so cool. No problem. No problem. Okay, Ingrid, just like, go as far up here as possible. Where is the villagers? Is there no other villagers on this side? Okay, if not, let's make her way over here. Wait, there's an archer. Um, yeah, just stay there for now, Ingrid. Um, probably send... Forgot how small this map was. Okay, probably send Felix up here as well. How are we doing? What are you doing here? Okay. I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all. Goodness. What's the matter? What the heck? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Garrick <gasps> Lock Flame. to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. Why is she so, why is her crest so Okay. Oh <gasps> I'll have a bit of fun here too. Death Knight. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. Oh my gosh. Dodge it one more time. Uh, he can still live one more attack. Okay. Doing fine. Come on. Proc, can you take that guy out next turn? I don't think you're in range. But Linhard might be able to physic. Uh-uh. <laughs> Annette with the sass. Okay. Oh yeah, she's fine. She's fine. I don't know why I ever worried about Annette. She's doing just fine. Watch this. Oh no, not the disturbance. Dodge it if you're real, Annette. She's real. She is real. That is the real Annette sitting right there. Ah, they're coming out of these houses. Okay. Well, hopefully Gerald will do something about this. Gerald didn't even move. <laughs> Gerald just sat there. Okay. Um, Prof can't help you, but Linhard maybe can physic you. Please, please, please. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. 
Oh, and we got Minor Craft. That'll be so helpful. Now we have another use. Alright, you come after me, man. Don't go after him anymore. Jeez. Oh, he has. So this is that guy from the trailer that was like... The Dark Star... Uh, eats the darkness itself or something. Okay. Death Knight. Do we actually have to take... We still can't take you out. We still can't take you out. For sure. Even with these new levels, we still can't take you out. Okay. We can take this guy out, though, right? Let's not... Oh, boy. No, we should take you out first. No, 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 no. Who should... I don't know who to take out first. Okay, actually, here's what we can do. Training bow you. Get out of here. There we go. Then Flane. I almost want Flane to take out Tomas just to like rub it in his face. Okay. Um. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, he's stationary. Why the heck are you stationary, Gerald? That's dumb. Okay. Um. I'll send Flane this way, actually. Rescue Felix. Felix, come with me. It's not really where we want to do to land, but it's fine. We'll put you behind a net. Oh, you're not behind a net. Okay, there you go. I was going to say, why can't you uh, do as much damage as you could earlier? Okay. Um, Thunder. Thunder will be two hit KO. Great if you're real, Felix. Uh, okay. Whatever. Okay. Um, actually, Ash. No, Ash, you need to come down and save this guy. Ash, you're a knight. Stand in the fire. You can do it. Crit if you're real, Ash. Ah, oh, you're fine. Okay. He'll live one more turn, and then Ash can take him out next turn for sure. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Dimitri, go after Death Knight right now. Ingrid can probably take you out. No, she can't. With a lance, maybe. A Tempest lance, probably. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here, boy. Oh, this map is so cool. It is so, so cool. I mean, not cool like temperature because there's literally fire everywhere. Haha, -ha, funny joke. But, um, oh my gosh. I love it. Like, there's no maps like this in the GBA games or the or uh, the, um, the DS ones. And those are the only ones I've played. I've played, like, emulators of the other ones, but not for very long. Death Knight is actually coming in. Oh, darn it. Uh, we lost another villager. Okay, we can save three of them. We can save three of them. That's what I gotta tell myself. Three out of five. Not great, but it's what we gotta deal with. We don't have the mobility. We couldn't get to that other guy that quickly. Annette, you have fire magic, but you should be safe. Oh, you're coming after Felix. Felix might be able to counterattack and destroy you. Oh my gosh, that other guy has a scythe. They all have scythes. Oh boy. Sylvain, get that chest, please. Hey, Ash. No, no, no. Not you. I want Sylvain to get the chest first to make sure I... What? We have to go, we have to go around so much. Uh, I probably should have just dismounted. It's probably because you're on the horse that you're having trouble getting through that. What is you actually doing? Yeah, Dimitri, you're going to die. You are going to die. I'm sorry, bud, but we can't take out Death Knight. He's still just too powerful. Uh, okay. That's right, I did give you the training bow. There we go. Is that all? Very nice. I wonder. No, nope, there's a bow user up there. We can't do anything about that. Alright, let's just make sure we watch out for him. Um, maybe after a Thoron from you? No, just a regular fire? Yeah, that'll be enough. Felix uses the fire. Next time then Annette can fast. weaken up the this archer kiddo. Probably with a Nos. There's Nos. Oh, yeah. She's getting a full heal back right now. She didn't have any choice. She needed to take you out right away. Okay, Ash. Um, time to KO this guy, buddy. There we go. 
I think the only way we could have got that guy in the very back is if we would have sent Ingrid up to the top right. Or the top left, sorry. That was like the only way. But I think it should be fine in the long run. Okay. Prof. Can't take him out. Training gauntlets. Yeah, let's go gauntlets. So we might get a, some crests. And, there we go. More crest procs and more crits. Why are the gauntlets so good? Why are they so good? as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Solon. Yeah, three out of five. That's sixty percent. Not not great, but I could have done better. I know I could have, but jeez, Linhard, you're sitting in the fire. Get out! You burned the off their the headband that you said you had, but that I still don't see. Okay, so let's rescue you. All right, rot rescue, heal you up. Oh yeah, that impregnable. Oh, we could take out Death Knight with that. Because the impregnable wall, that does only one damage to you and one damage to your opponent. We could totally take him out with that. Oh, should I though? Should I, should I, should I? I don't know, because he's got that... Oh, it's not too ranged though. We might be able to do that. If we put magic users behind the wall... Ooh. We'll try it. If it gets, If it comes to that, we'll try it. Death Knight's coming in. Dimitri, we gotta make sure you're safe, though. Look at all these units Death Knight's got with him, though. This is gonna be rough. Okay, Ash. You got rid of him, so get out of there. Prof. What do we want Prof to do? Probably take you out. Can't even take him out, but you can come close. Punch, 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 punch. Oh, come on. Oh, well, it's fine. Because you got the prop. There we go. Oh, that's right. You can't activate those blue spots. Okay. Death Knight. We got to get, we got to make like a funnel if we want to go after Death Knight. Probably right here, actually. Or up here. No, we can't go right there. Oh, actually, yes, we can. Probably what to do. And then we'll have a net be, like, right here. Oh, but then you'll, you'll be able to attack. Actually, Flame has a ton of res, though. She'll probably take nothing from you. Yeah. We have five of these. We might just be able to... Oh, no, he'll take out Gerald. Um, we can do it right here, actually. If we want to do it, we got to do it right here. Um, no, Dudu needs to sit in the fire for this. Because then he, ne he needs to be surrounded. Oh, uh, can we do this? No, I don't know if we can. I don't think we can, actually. There's, like, no way we can get to a good spot where we can do it. It'd be really cool if we could take out Death Knight, though. It'd be so awesome. All right, Sylvain, I think you're stuck down here for the remainder of the map. Giant shell? What is that? Death Knight's still not moving too much, though, so that's something. Curious as to why he's not moving. I still want to go for it, though. Oh! Gerald, why? Yet you think you can kill me? Gerald, don't die. Don't get critted, Gerald. Oh, now I can't take out Death Knight. Thanks to Gerald. I need to finish this this turn now. Thanks to freaking Gerald. Dad, what are you doing? You're messing up my plans. Whoa, this music changed. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, this is our final turn, so let's just make it count. Uh, I really wanted to try taking out Death Knight, but it looks like that won't happen. Oh, no, no, no! The chest! Gerald! Oh, wait, I can rescue Gerald, can't I? I can pull him away from this being stupid, right? Can I? He'll still be able to come back, though. His range is so good. Well, I'll do my best to see if I can. Alright, Gerald. Come back here. Darn it, he'll still be able to take him out no matter what. Unless we surround him with high-res units. That's what we can do. We can surround him with high res units. Okay. Um, 
Then we can... Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, I don't got it. Ah! Gerald, why? You ruined this for us! Uh... If only someone would, could be able to trade and then move again. Can Ingrid do that? Can she trade and then move again? She won't be able to make it, though. That's the problem. Okay. You know what, Prof? Take an Iron Bow. I think our only chance is if any of these three can survive and not kill. She won't kill. I know for sure Ingrid can't kill. Alright, this is our only chance to getting whatever's in that chest. Alright. We'll be fine. 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 We will be fine. Death Knight. I really want to take you out. Or at least attempt. I really just want to try. Okay. Um. Yep. Let's just try and go for that chest. Don't crit. Oh, gosh. That crit chance. That crit chance. Salon. I remember that episode when I said, oh. <gasps> I thought he was going to attack. Death Knight is right there. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> okay. There we go. Gerald can't attack. We're all good. Taking damage. But, um... I remember that episode I said, oh, Tomas doesn't look suspicious at all. Oh, gosh. Oh, we could do so good. See, he only has range of one, but he has, he has uh, like, a distant counter or something. Poison Strike Mastermind doubles all skills. Yeah, allows you to counterattack. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Let's at least see how it works. You can do it! Oh my gosh. So now to do won't take any damage from you. Oh wait, no. Hold up. Yeah. Won't do anything. That's pretty cool. Gotta say. Let's at least just attack. We're safe to attack. Right? the one you crave. So your key's coming after. Counterattack. Yeah. Makes everything. Look at Death Knight. Oh my gosh. Alright, to do you go in. You Iron Gauntlets, this guy. Look at all that horse. Oh my gosh. Death Knight crazy is so cool. Oh, okay. Let's actually do what we were supposed to do this turn. Annette, can I rely on you to take him out, right? Uh, I think we can. Yeah, a cutting gale. Or no, the uh, other one will. So here's what we can do. Ingrid, you can reach the chest? Yes, you can. We convoy and trade. Convoy and trade. Convoy and trade. Oh! I am so glad we were able to do this. Alright, can we actually like just get in like a gambit on you? We can. Might as well. Ah, the cursed fell star. This will be a fine opportunity. The to fell star? Power. Wait, he was saying the fell star consumes Double even chance. the darkness itself, so am I the fell star? Is Prof the fell star? What is the fell star anyway? Oh my gosh. So many mysteries. Yeah, how does that feel, Tomas? How's it feel? Alright, you're out of uh, stuff. But we can get the chest and then... Horse Slayer. Wasn't even that big of a deal. Oh, hey, Death Knight, let's just... <laughs> let's say let's, let's fly down to Death Knight. Okay. Actually, why don't Felix... Nah, we'll have Annette do it. Um... Training ball. <laughs> no, we'll fire it up. Finish it, Annette. Get Tomas, Salon, whatever he is. Get him out of here. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? Huh. 
I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Experiment, now that huh? I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. What does he mean by experiment? I must go. Really? Wait! Damn it, he's gone. <sighs> I will survey the village. How are you doing, Dimitri? You there were not doing good be before this. You okay? You saved at least half the villagers. Yeah. I tried. I know I, I, I tried, but it was tough. It was tough. Wow. Nine turns. That was a long nine turns. Annette, good job. You did take him out. Good job, Annette. And now the aftermath. Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. I wonder what that because means, of then. Them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. <gasps> what? Flemperer? Flame Emperor? The Flemperer? <laughs> I'm gonna call him the Flemperer from now on. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? Haha, <laughs> blazes, flemperer. Ha <laughs> ha It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Okay. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Really? But Your Death Knight was having fun with it, though, now, so... I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? Join what? forces? To do what? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Oh, he wants the relic. What? You can actually join him? Well, I'm gonna refuse, of course, but still. Pity, though not unexpected. Is that actually like Pray a thing? You Did you actually join the Flemperer? Gerald, Professor, have you seen His Highness? Oh no. What's wrong, kid? What was that? Oh, damn it! Oh, he, he that was him running away. He's gone. He didn't want the dude to see him. Where is Dimitri, though? Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. How so? Uh-oh. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before <laughs> the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. It's thanks to the students. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Thanks, Dad. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Yeah, wasn't I born after you left? Uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. To tell you me to the my truth? Office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Okay, Dad. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. Well, Hanuman was there. Was, Hanuman was talking about that girl that he was with. That is your past. But then she died before we left. That before Gerald left the monastery. So maybe if she, I was born before then, or maybe I'm adopted. I don't even know. I, <sighs> I'm sorry you saw that side of me in the village. It must have been quite a shock to you and the others. I'm mortified by my behavior. I... When I saw the chaos and violence there, my mind just went completely dark. Yeah, you weren't yourself, Dimitri. I could tell. I see why you would say that. I always strive to keep my emotions at bay, but sometimes the darkness takes hold and it's impossible to suppress. It just shows you how lacking I am. I have much to learn. It's okay, Dimitri. I told you before that someday we may find ourselves facing something we simply cannot accept. 
Five years from That's now. That's what the chaos in Ramire Village was to me. Solon and the Flame Emperor are both beasts who must be eliminated. Demons who kill the innocent. They aren't even human at this point. Yeah, don't forget about Death Knight either. That's true. Flame Emperor said he wasn't involved. Oh, jeez. And you believed him? He doesn't deserve our forgiveness. I just wanted to inform you. He became an accomplice when he refused to turn himself in and return with us to the monastery. Sorry, Dimitri. I just wanted to inform you. you I'm see, sorry. Professor, I saw the same flames of torment just four years ago. In Dusker. Yep. I... Please, have mercy! <sighs> the pain! Make the burning stop! Help me! Somebody! Avenge us! Those who killed us! Tear them apart! Destroy them all! Is that his father? Are you okay? My father, my stepmother, four years ago, they lost their lives to those flames. I'll never forget. I still remember their faces, their screams, the tortured last moments of every person who died that day. But right now, all that matters is that we do whatever we can to help the surviving villagers get back to their normal lives. Of course. Thank you. <sighs> for everything. Now thank you, Dimitri. You have a lot to There's a you have reason a lot why I came to the officers to academy. bear. Just one reason. Really? Is that are you gonna tell me? I came here for revenge. What? And one day I will have it. Oh, revenge on who? You did well handling that awful business <sighs> in Meyer Village. Thanks. I'm certain the goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. It was true that I couldn't support you with him, so. Must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic. Well, I Why still think that Rhea is involved as well, days? somehow. Yeah, why did Tomas... Oh, that's right, he Tomas wanted Slain. Oh, when, ago, sorry. By recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Forty years Around ago? Eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia before returning to the monastery once again just last year. Oh, so After he... After having worked at Garrick Mock for decades, have changed why would he betray us when now? he went back? Just what did he hope to accomplish? I wonder. Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. Okay. In the long history of the Church of Seros. No, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Bodlin. Uh huh. But those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. Yeah, I'm with you there at least. Bodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. Yeah, they they got to be stopped, of course, but I truly come to rely on you. <sighs> How do we do I that? that? The monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, Please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Thanks, I guess. Professor. Seeing that side of Dimitri, though, that has me shook up. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. So why do people I know so much about me, but my dad and I don't? Great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things for you. Walk this world proudly, dear professor. May the goddess Sothis protect you. Sothis? The goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Uh, yeah? Is something the matter? Um. I'd never heard the name of the god. Oh, okay. I see. Sothis is the goddess's true name. Please do not use it carelessly. Farewell. Um, 
but Sothis is literally my ghost pal. She... Sorry. I... What exactly am I? I... Sorry, I don't know. Well, let's I thought place. you were just some little ghost Please, dragon thing. No. Okay. Sorry. What the heck is going on? There's so many mysteries! Audiobook Dad, you can't even- are you gonna help me resolve these Part mysteries nine. when I go to your office? White clouds. Ethereal moon. The cause of sorrow. Oh man, cause of sorrow, that doesn't sound good. Though most stars will still glimmer in the crisp winter air, the blue sea star has gone back into hiding. Legend states that the goddess prays for peace from her home in the heavens. In the town of Garigmach, the anniversary of the monastery's completion nears, and the people's prayers intensify ahead of the Millennium Festival, still five years hence. Hmm. Okay. 5,000 bucks. Cool. Oh. Aloise's birthday. We'll give him some flowers. I don't know if I want to have a tea party with that large man. Oh. Oh, more details about this month's mission. I see. And it is... We are planning a grand ball for this month. A ball? I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Huh. Yes, certainly. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. We have a new mission for you. Okay. We have evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. A chapel? Okay. It is a building that was once a temporary sanctuary at a time when the monastery was under renovation. I see. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. That doesn't the sound too hard. The Holy Church. We cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. That's true. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. Seasoned knight, huh? In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Who's the seasoned knight? That's reassuring. I'll just say that's reassuring. Reporting for duty, lady. Oh, <gasps> Dad! I thought you two could use the time to bond. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. Bear in mind that Gerald has a separate mission of his own. He will join okay. you once he has finished it. Gotcha. Oh no. It's true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return, I'll come. Is where you gonna die, you. Dad? I'll be looking forward to it. Didn't you watch me work in Remire Village, Dad? We were there together. Okay. Well, it's day off time. And I think we'll save it for the next episode. We're definitely going to explore. We always explore on the first day. Look at that. It looks like our mission's on the 26th. That mean, that must mean the ball is on the 28th. And there was like that cutscene that had the ball where it showed like Edelgard and Dimitri dancing or something. I'm interested to in seeing what's going to come in the future. But oh my goodness, what an episode. Dimitri still has me a little bit shook up. And I really wonder who he wants to get revenge on. And why he hasn't changed his ways, I guess, of... Having a different reason to come to the monastery. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out in the next few episodes. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I need to calm down. I'm just a little bit shook up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.